Hi there, and welcome to Elicit and a new feature called Notebook. And we're really, really excited about this. So uh, let's take a look at it. First thing you're going to do is find papers. So we're going to ask a question. And the question is, how can AI help find articles for a literature? review. All right, there's the question. And I'm looking for, let's go into filters here because I'd like current papers. And notice I've got 2015, so I'm going to filter these. Has a PDF and the year, not any year, but um, I'm going to go for it. 23 and up. Let's save that. And here it comes. Okay, we don't need that anymore. And here they are, more current ones. How can AI help find articles for a literature review? Finding articles for literature review. Great, lovely. Okay, so notice what's here. Paper. These are the papers and then abstract. And then we can also add more columns, of course, and we know that. So let's go into add a new step. Okay, so we've got add a new step here, which is new. Ask a new question, ask extract data from uploaded papers, get a list of concepts, create a new table, summarize chat with papers. Yay, I like that. Okay, so let's go into, let's choose one of these. And um, reading, AI-driven recommendation. Okay, so now let's go back into notebooks. Notice on the left here. And then this is untitled, so let's give it a title. So the title is AI and Literature Review. Okay, right. And the question was, let's add the question again. We'll start all over. I want to add a column for summary. Main findings, methodology is interesting. Summary. All right, let's see what we get here. In tools, I don't see any tools, so let me add. Okay, great. So we've got that. We've got our notebook. Okay, there's our notebook. But what I'd like to add now is I'd like to add another question. And the question is, um, but I want another question. Add another step. Great. Now I can add another question, and the question is, um, AI tools for literature review. Okay, so let's see what happens now. We're going to add that. And we need the filters. Has that filter. It's not in a year. We want 23. 23. Save. All right, notice how fast that is. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so now it's coming up with 23 AI tools. Okay, so let's see what we get here. Um, so let's add another step. Okay, so here we go. Another step. Add a new step. I'm going to ask a question. And another step. And the question is um, examples of AI tools for literature review. Am I going to get that or not? OK, and now I want it to be filtered by there. OK, let's see if there's any mention of that. What I would like is open access, which I don't know if they have. Okay, so let's see what happens with that. P 
PDF. Okay, I'm looking for, okay, let's add AI Tools Literature Review. So we've got our questions there, which is nice. We're going to add another step, another step, and ask a question. Examples of AI Tools for Research. Let's add research. Maybe that'll help. Literature research. Okay. And again, I'm going to look for filters here. And um, let's try to get this to go up to 23. Save. Okay, that's the first question. Let's add another step. And now the question will be elicit an AI tool developed by Ott. Okay, so there is something here. Okay, it was only mentioned once there. And everything else is uh, literature review, and we want elicit. So here's one article. So we got elicit. Okay, a bit outdated. Let's go back to our notebook. So here is the notebook, and um, it's a great way to have everything on one page. Wonderful. And I see that uh, everything else has been put under a notebook. In other words, list of AI for research, AI for research. Okay, great. So even that is now a notebook. So everything now, everything that I've searched for is now organized as a notebook. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, Elicit, for making this possible.